I don't think that Disneyland youngsters are capable of understanding the malice of the devil. I don't think Disneyland youngsters are capable of understanding the modern world. They're, they're, they're too deeply into the fantasy. Uh, it seems to me that modern youngsters just can't get hold of reality. It's a strong statement, that's a strong statement, but I'm afraid it's true. It's an exceptional young man today that's got a grip on reality. He's been fed the fantasy, the Disneyland Hollywood fantasy, from the very beginning of his, of his education, and most likely in his home as well. And if his home is Catholic, it's many Catholics also don't know the enemy. They don't know the seriousness. They don't believe in evil. They don't believe in original sin. Because Americans don't believe in original sin. The American way of life is a denial of original sin. Jefferson says we need to show the world that it can do without cardinals and kings. In other words, we are bringing in, we Americans are bringing in a new world in which sin has been done away with. And we're all saints. We're all secular saints. We don't need Catholicism. We don't need cardinals. We don't need popes. And we don't need kings. We, we the people, can do it on our own. And with a mentality like that, you are simply never, never going to understand what Freemasonry is all about. Freemasonry is very powerful in England. It's very powerful in the United States. It was, um, in its modern form, it was launched in England in 1717 in London. And it's it, it, a, a key principle of, of Masonry is the, the abolition of original sin. And if you don't believe in original sin, there's no way you can understand your fellow human beings. There's no way you can get education right if you don't believe in original sin. You're going to believe that, that it's just enough to let, the, to let lovely human nature develop all on its own. You don't need to interfere with the children. You mustn't discipline the children. You've got to worship the children and love them and encourage them in whatever they do. That's insanity. From a Catholic point of view, it's insanity. It's the denial of original sin, which is the denial of the need for the redemption and so on. And that's what many, excuse me, that's what many American Catholics are. They're, they're Masons, in fact, or Protestants, in fact. They're Protestants that go to Mass. I think that's what's Amos Fraser's expression. Get serious. Americans have a lot of good qualities. But taking original sin seriously is not one of them. You may remember that at the time of Noah, mankind had corrupted its ways. That's what scripture says. And the Lord God, the only thing the Lord God could do was wipe practically everybody out and start all over again. We are today in a situation like just before the flood. With today's mankind, the way mankind today is going, God can only be extremely angry. Today, the mass of human beings around us are so far gone in mush and rot, mind rot and mind mush, that I don't see anything else that the Lord God can do to stop the whole work, to stop every soul falling into hell, which is not what God created the universe for, and it's not what he's going to allow the universe to continue for. The only thing he can do is wipe it, is the deluge of fire. If men don't amend their ways, there will be a rain of fire, a punishment, Our Lady of Akita, 1973. There will be a punishment such as the mankind has never seen. The, uh, the good will perish, there will be a rain of fire, the good will perish with the bad, the priest will perish with the, with the laity, and the survivors will envy the dead. Priests that honor me will be mocked by their confreres. The churches will be sacked, she says. Our Lord God, Almighty God, promised in Scripture that he would not again wash out the human race with water. But he didn't promise that he wouldn't do it with fire. 
If men don't amend their ways and repent, the Father, Almighty God, is going to punish the human race with a punishment such as has never been seen, not even in the time of Noah. It's going to be more dramatic than the time of Noah. A serious chastisement is coming. Therefore, you know, what you have got to do, like every like Catholics all over the country, all over the world, you've got to start again. And it's not certain that you need to start again with a physical building because the government will easily locate it and uh, cripple it, paralyze it in one way or another, shut it down. And uh, it's not certain that you will have a structure for your priests, what priests you do have. You may have one coming through every three months on the QT, hoping to slip between... Because, of course, now the, the drones and the satellites can almost read the newspaper in your hand. The satellites at 130 miles can practically read the newspaper that you're reading. It's incredible what technology is now doing. They've got, obviously, all the emails. The telephone calls are open to them. The Big Brother has electronic possibility today, which just simply didn't exist 10 or 20 years ago. So Big Brother is possible today such as he never was. I don't know if even quiet, secret priests can survive the electronics, can avoid the electronics. I don't know. And back in the, the time of the Reformation in England, a priest hole, you could, the priest could, could escape detection by the English government. But today, I, I, I don't know. All these things, of course, are in the hands of God. I don't know what God is going to do. Obviously, I don't. None of us know what he's going to do. But the situation is immensely serious.